the Harry Potter glasses are back, and now I have Hermione's wand. And it matches because it's green! Wow! Hey guys, my name is Miranda, and I am in such a good mood right now. I have decided to be a part of the Christmas in Hogwarts readathon that is being hosted by Book Roast, and it's taking place December 17th through December 26th. I will link the original video for this readathon down below so you can go check it out if you guys want to be a part of it too. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys the books that I plan on reading for this readathon. Now, this whole readathon has been created in order to make you feel as though you are a student who has stayed at Hogwarts for Christmas and wants to attend the Christmas ball Yes, the Christmas feast, that's what it's called. But in order to actually attend the Christmas feast, you need to do a lot of other activities to get there. So every single one of these banners represents a different activity that you could do at Hogwarts around Christmas time. And then every activity that you can do represents a reading prompt. The way that I was originally going to go about this was I was going to take what the reading prompts were and then pick which reading prompts I wanted. But I think instead of doing that, I'm going to instead do what I would do if I was at Hogwarts, and then I'm going to have to mold what I want to read around those choices. If you want to hear every single reading prompt, you might want to watch Book Roast's video because I'm just going to be talking about the prompts that I have chosen. Let's just get on with this because I'm so excited about this, you guys. Can you tell? <laughs> So everybody starts with the same thing, and that is to finish your coursework, and the reading prompt for that is to finish the book that you are currently reading. Obviously, I can't really prepare for that because I am not sure what book I am going to be reading when this readathon starts because it is a whole week away, but whatever book I am in the middle of, that's what I'm going to start reading or finish reading, you know? You know, after I finish my coursework, I can either choose to help Hagrid decorate the trees or have a snowball fight with the Weasley twins. And let me just tell you guys, right now, hands down, I would have a snowball fight with the Weasley twins, okay? I love the Weasley twins. Nothing could make me not choose the Weasley twins. I would literally be their best friend ever. I would stick with them so much that people will begin thinking that I'm the third twin. I would be the triplet. It doesn't matter that I'm not a part of their family because I would be hanging around them all the time that people would think I'm a part of their family. So yes, I will have a snowball fight with the Weasley twins. And the reading prompt that goes along with that is to read a book that you will find humorous. Now this one was actually really hard for me to find a book for because I have a lot of fantasy books on my shelves and fantasy books aren't really known for their humor but I do think that there are lots of books that do have a sense of humor in it in some form and in some way and for me I'm I'm stretching this but it's only because I desperately want it to have some sort of humor in it and that is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I know that this book is not going to be hilarious in its entirety, but I am just holding on to the hope that Marissa Meyer has created another character that is just as funny as Carswell Thorne, because Thorne is my absolute favorite husband. Yes, because I have multiple husbands and just Thorne happens to be my favorite. I absolutely adore the way Marissa Meyer incorporates humor in her stories and in her books. So I'm really hoping that that is the same in Renegades. After I have finished having my lovely snowball fight with the lovely Weasley twins, the only option is to visit the three broomsticks for mold pixie wine. Or for those of us that are underage, we can have some butterbeer, yes! The reading prompt for this one is to read a book that you think will only take you afternoon or will only take you a couple hours to finish. And this one was also hard for me to find a book for because a lot of my books are very thick. But there is one book that I would love to read for this one and that is A Tale of Despero by Kate D. Camillo. The font is pretty thick and there's actually pictures throughout it that I think are so so cute. Well they're kind of scary but I think They're kind of cute. After I am done drinking my butterbeer with my buddies, I can either exchange presents at my common room or I can sneak into the kitchen to gift Dobby socks 
or I can attend a Yule Ball. This one is kind of a tough choice for me because I feel like I would love to do all three of those equally. I would love to share presents with my Hufflepuff buddies, but I also would love to see Dobby and give him some socks. But overall, I think I will have to go with the Yule Ball. I would much rather do that because I am totally the dancing type of person. I love going to dances and a holiday Yule Ball would literally just make my heart happy. The reading prompt for the Yule Ball is actually quite an interesting one and it can be interpreted in many different ways, but it is to read a book that you have been preparing for in some way. For this one, I'm going to have to go with a book that is actually in a series that I really want to finish this year. I started it this year and the last book came out this year and so I really want to read it because I think that that is appropriate. And that is The Darkest Legacy by Alexandra Bracken. After I had finished attending my Yule Ball, I have two more options and I can either use the invisibility cloak to get to the restricted section or I can bring a festive treat to Hedwig at the Owlry. Now this one, if you know me, you know my answer right off the bat. I would definitely pick visiting Hedwig over anything. Well, except the snowball fight with the Weasley twins. That beats everything else, I think. I absolutely adore animals and I would love to bask in the glory of thousands of owls. The reading prompt for visiting Hedwig is to read a book that has either an animal in the title or an animal on the cover. I have two books here and I either want to read Replica by Lauren Oliver or Water for Elephants by Sarah Groon. I don't know which one I'm going to end up choosing for this one. It just depends on the mood I'm in. And if I succeed, with doing all of the activities, then I would be able to attend the Christmas feast. That is my TBR for this readathon. Who knows, maybe I'll end up taking a completely different path than I originally wanted to take, but either way, I know it's going to be an adventure. And also, I am going to be vlogging my entire experience with the readathon. I am going to be telling you guys what I think about the books I'm reading, what choices I decided to take, so you guys will be able to see a vlog and actually get to compare what I planned to read versus what I actually end up reading if they end up being the same or if they end up being different. We'll see. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all. Please be safe, make good choices, and I will see you next time.